To show the Navidoc panel, go down to the lower left corner and click that first button. Clicking once shows Navidoc, clicking again makes it go away. So we'll click to make it show, go up to the top, and there are tabs up here that uh, hide and show four different sets of controls and lists, starting with outline, then scenes, then notes, then bookmarks. Going back to the uh, outline tab, this shows a list of all of your outline elements plus a, a list of all of your scene headings. If you click on any one of these elements in Navidoc, this automatically takes you to the corresponding element in the script panel. We'll do that again. Uh, click on uh, Scene Heading 7, and you'll see a little red arrow blinks three times, making it easier to find the element in the uh, script panel. Back over in the Navidoc panel, take a look at this. You can expand or hide the uh, elements here, so you're able to uh, have the choice of analyzing your script at the uh, scene heading level to see how things flow. You might go down to the beat level to analyze your story in detail. In the top toolbar, the first icon over here allows you to turn the different elements on and off independently. For example, you might want to turn off your scene headings in the uh, Navidoc panel so you see only the outline elements. We'll turn that back on. To the uh, right, this uh, clapboard looking icon allows you to control some of the components in your scene headings. Click here to turn the numbers on and off in the scene headings. Also lets you turn off the uh, interior, exterior, and the time of day. And notice that this does not have any effect on the script panel over here. You can see that the scene heading number still displays in the script panel, but it's turned off over here. So we'll turn that back on. The two arrows here give you a quick way to collapse and expand all elements. And notice that it works differently depending on what you select in the Navidoc panel. I'll click in Act 1, click the uh, two arrows, and it collapses all the way down to the Act level, where if you click on a scene heading, click the buttons, this takes you down only to the uh, sequence level. The little gear-looking thing opens up a uh, Preferences panel. This lets you uh, control the uh, font characteristics and a number of other things that affect the appearance and the behavior of Navidoc. This icon with the red arrow controls synchronization of Navidoc with the script panel. When I clicked it, you can see that a red border appears in Navidoc. And now, if you go over here in the uh, script panel and click on an element, Navidoc will automatically go to the same place in your script. I'll go down here, click in uh, scene heading number 77, and right here, instantly, you'll see that a red box appears ar around scene heading number 77. Click again to turn synchronization off red box goes away, go back to the top, click in uh, scene heading number one, and you can see that Navidoc does not move. You would have to manually move that back up to scene heading number one. If you wish to see more of what appears in the outline elements in Navidoc, go up to this slider. As you move that slider down, notice here you can see more of what appears in the outline elements. The slider next to it does the same thing for your scene headings, except that this has an additional level of control. Back over here on the left, where you have the uh, downward pointing arrow, if you click that, the spacing changes within Navidoc to be more similar to uh, what you see in the uh, script panel. And if you click in Navidoc, this will again let you see that uh, scene heading exactly as it appears within context. Click the right arrow, the little red arrow again. Uh, spacing moves up. Click it again. Spacing becomes more like your script. The last control in the top toolbar controls the size of the font. So you can make the font in Navidoc larger or smaller.